Now there's another way that uh, we can actually search for video. I know we can search for video based on uh, date and time. There's something called the bookmark. And to show you, I'm just going to open this monitoring task. I only have one camera on my system. But I'm looking at live video. Let's say, for example, something important does happen here. I can add what is called a bookmark. Just like books, I can put a little note um, where I left in the chapter I was reading. Uh, here, I can do it in live video, or I can do it in recorded video. It doesn't really matter. Uh, if I now add a bookmark, uh, maybe there's something important happening um, at the camera. And I'm just going to type important okay, uh, event. Okay. What I just did was I just added a piece of information to my video here. Now, if I remove the camera and I want to look for the video uh, based on that bookmark, instead of searching for date and time, I can open what it's called. Let me go and close it here and reopen it. And I can open a, an investigation task by op uh, going to the home page in Security Desk, Task. And now I'm going to search. Note on that in time, I'm going to search on a bookmark. All right, do I remember the camera? Maybe not. Maybe I do. If I do, I just check the camera that I'm going to search uh, for that bookmark. If not, I can just select all the cameras here. And now, I really, I really can't remember when it happened, but I do remember typing important. Notice that I don't have to type the uh, complete message. Mm -hmm. I'm just typing important here. I know what happened within the day, or if I do know specifically when that important event and bookmark happened, I can also do that. Okay, now I'm just going to do one day generate report. Okay, and now look, I got two bookmarks here. Um, I'm going to double click on this one and make it a little bit bigger. Okay, notice now that I have video all the way from 1232. Uh, to 1233, uh, two minutes of video. Okay, now again, I can pause the video. I can fast forward the video, I can play it again, but there's my bookmark. So I just, I typed in important event, which is by typing a little bit of that information. So for example, import. I still get the results that I want. That's the video right there. Double click and there it is. Now I can go ahead and export video, and if I export the video, I get the same information and same message that I got before, and now I'm exporting two minutes here. If I do want to change that value, I can do it here. I can use my brackets, and as soon as I click on export, that export video will be sent to the vault, where later I can go ahead and play, or then um, package it with my video player either as a G64 file, that's what we do need the, um, uh, the player, or I can even um, change the format to a ASF format, which I can then open with uh, Windows Media Player.